Hello, I'm Maria Schmitz and welcome today to Employability Skills in 10 episodes. What are the employability skills? New media literacy, computational thinking, transdisciplinarity, sense making, cognitive load management, which is simply coping strategies, novel and adaptive thinking, virtual collaboration, design mindset, cross-cultural competency, also called intercultural intelligence and social intelligence. New media literacy is the ability to critically assess and develop content that uses new media forms and to leverage these media for persuasive communication. Computational thinking is the ability to translate vast amounts of data into abstract concepts and to understand data-based reasoning. Transdisciplinarity is literacy in and the ability to understand concepts across multiple disciplines. Sense making is the ability to determine the deeper meaning or significance of what is being expressed. Cognitive load management or coping strategies is the ability to discriminate and filter information for importance and to understand how to maximize cognitive functioning using a variety of tools and techniques. Novel and adaptive thinking is proficiency at thinking and coming up with solutions and responses beyond that which is rote or rule-based. Virtual collaboration is more common to everyone, I think. <laughs> That's the ability to work productively, drive engagement, and demonstrate presence as a member of a virtual team. Design mindset is the ability to represent and develop tasks and work processes for desired outcomes. Cross-cultural competency is the ability to operate in different cultural settings. And social intelligence is the ability to connect to others in a deep and direct way to sense and stimulate reactions and desired interactions. So this all sounds very simple, but of course, there's a wealth of knowledge behind all these concepts. So today's topic is new media literacy. Reading and writing skills have always been considered indicators of literacy, but as technology changes the way we receive and process information, the meaning of literacy is changing as well. To thrive in today's world, educators and students alike must be proficient in new media literacy. Social media sites such as Facebook, YouTube are examples of new media technologies that provide a wealth of opportunities for people to both create and consume content. But these technologies also require certain skills, such as new media literacy. Media literacy is the ability to access, analyze, evaluate and create media in a variety of forms. It is an essential skill in today's world where we are constantly bombarded with information from a variety of sources. The importance of media literacy has been recognized by many organizations, including UNESCO, which has declared it a fundamental human right. With the rise of social media and the Internet, it is becoming increasingly difficult to separate fact from fiction. And people need to be equipped with the skills to navigate this landscape especially our youngsters, I'd say. Media literacy can also help people become more critical consumers of media, which is important for democracy and civic engagement. So to return to the story of separating fact from fiction, concerns about trust and credibility have long plagued journalists and the advent of objective journalism hasn't made things any better. The deeper problem with traditional media's lack of credibility is that fact or nuanced errors and shallowness are more common than malicious intent. Traditional media, however, prides itself on having procedures in place to both prevent errors and, when they do occur, to correct the record. The new media landscape is full of opportunities for greatness, but it is also prone to error sincere or otherwise, and manipulation can easily turn into persuasion these days. Consider just two corporate examples. Procter & Gamble and Walmart, among other large corporations, have been found to pay bloggers, either directly or indirectly, to endorse their brands or products, all without disclosing their business relationships. Within the blogging community, stealth marketing, as it is called, 
and it's also known as buzz marketing, caused a mini uproar. A common question, however, was whether these campaigns represented the tip of the iceberg in terms of influence as much as people believe. People who post under pseudonyms instead of their real names, either to promote their own work or to demean their opponents, sometimes in the most obscene ways, are known as sock puppets on blogs and many other sites where audience conversation is part of the mix. In conclusion, media literacy is an important skill. It can help people become more critical consumers of media and navigate the complex landscape of information to which we are exposed on a daily basis. And so on and so on. There is much more to know, as I said at the outset. 